Time now for Sit Sarah. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. I know it might sound strange to talk about the status of a baseball manager while that manager is in a playoff race, but I cannot ignore what I'm hearing from Blue Jay fans right now. A large group of folks don't think Charlie Montoyo is good at his job. He depends too much on analytics. Can't always handle a bullpen. Sometimes he can be a bit too positive. Let me tell you what else Charlie Montoyo is. He's a man who spent 20 years in the game of baseball. He led the Jays to a playoff spot last year. He might do it again this year. Was finalist for American League Manager of the Year in 2020. Did most of that during the longest COVID-related road trip in baseball history. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, Robbie Ray, and Marcus Simeon are all having career years under his watch. I got one thing to say to all the Charlie Montoyo haters. Shut up. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Because he's a very good manager. Fact. Alex Sixero, very good broadcaster. Fact from Sportsnet 590. More applause than I've ever gotten here, Alex. No, no guff. Feels good. Feels good to hear. Did I say anything you disagree with about Charlie Montoya? No. No, and he might he's gonna get votes this year for the American League Manager of the Year. So I think let's put that out there on the table. I think. Jays fans always, and I think this goes for any sport, that fans always need someone to blame. And for whatever reason, you know, we had this in 2015 with, with John Gibbons, specifically when, you know, Gibby would be kind of lying back in the dugout, seeming like he didn't really care. He was too relaxed. And in 2015, we know what happened. Jays had one of the best teams they've had in a long time. So I agree. I think in, in my mind, I want two things out of my manager. One, does he run a good clubhouse, which seems to be the case under Charlie Montoyo. And two, can he handle a bullpen? And I haven't always loved Charlie's handling of his relievers, but for the most part, I think he's been okay in that. So, you know, I think a lot of this frustration has kind of uh, been brought up with what happened on uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday in Tampa Bay. And, you know, the pitching coach, Pete Walker, getting super angry about, you know, one of his pitchers being, being ejected from the game and Charlie not getting that emotional and he wasn't that frustrated. That's just not who he is. He is mild-mannered. He had even keeled. And that's okay. The Jays are good. He's a good manager, and maybe we can focus our efforts on something else. Boom. Alex Sixero, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Now, listen, I understand Jay fans that miss John Gibbons. And for the record, so do I. A little tip, like tobacco always dropping out of his mouth. He's having a Coors Light every time he gets thrown out of a game. I miss John Gibbons, too. But some, some guys can have success doing it other ways. Alex, quickly, the Jays lost a bad ball game last night to a bad Minnesota team. They're a game out of a playoff spot. They can't afford another loss this weekend, right? 20 seconds. You agree with that? No, I don't think so. And I'm not sure they're going to lose another game. They have Brios tonight. They have Ray and they have Manoa for this weekend. Of course, the Yankees and the Red Sox have a three game series starting tonight. So look at the schedule. Jays are a game back of the Yankees. The Yankees still have the Rays, the Jays and the Red Sox to play. And the Jays have the Twins, the Yankees and the Orioles. So it's a little bit tougher, but I think the Jays are the better team, and they should get that second wild card. I think they will. Minnesota Twins, Toronto Blue Jays tonight live on Sportsnet. Alex Sixero, Sportsnet 590, the fan. Good stuff. Have a good day. All right. See you soon. He's good. He's better than me. Definitely. Coming up, you said, okay, I made the point. We don't have to reinforce. Are you ready to watch a live sporting event indoors with 20,000 people? That's what the National Hockey League thinks is going to happen in 30 of its 32 arenas, including Ottawa and Toronto this year. You ready for that? 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. At Breakfast TV on Twitter. You sound off next. I'm digging the, the you sound off music, by the way. Let us know. Your opinion next. Good Friday morning. Hoo-ha. This is BT.